Pokemon's newest tin trio has arrived. Sporting five Crown Zenith booster packs per box, as well as some beautiful promo cards, we should be in for a pretty epic opening today. Ever since this trio of tins was announced, you guys, I have been so excited to get my hands on them, and I feel extremely lucky to have gotten them opening day. So with all that out of the way, let's get cracking. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start this off by opening up the Galarian Articuno tin. Ooh, you guys, I am very, very excited to get this open. All right, so we'll start off with the Pokemon TCG Online code card. And now let's showcase the promo card for the tin. Um, I love the artwork on these, but I will say the only disappointment I have are the yellow borders. Um, I know this is still Crown Zenith and they're still going with the yellow, but these would have looked so much better with the silver borders. Okay, you guys, and as I said before, Four. Each tin comes with five packs of Crown Zenith. So that means we are going to be opening up 15 packs in this video, which gives us plenty of opportunity to get some potentially wild pulls um, out of this fantastic set. So we're going to start this off. We got Gloom, Great Ball, Graveler, Riolu, got Young Goose. Young Goose, Cherubi, Starly, got Switch, oh, 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 what do we got? And we have the Luminian V. Uh, I believe this is, um, right, I think this is an alternate art card. Wow, wow, that is fantastic. And we got B shown in the back with um, some kind of autograph on there. Wow, we just gotta take a moment to admire this piece. Just look at that, all the colors, the way it blends in with the hollow foil. I mean, I keep saying it, you guys, Pokemon TCG, really stepping it up with the artworks. Okay, you guys, so we're cracking into our second pack and let me know in the comments below who your favorite sword and shield Pokemon is. Uh, for me personally, I would definitely have to say Grimmsnarl is one of mine. I remember when I first saw the Pokedex lineup for the games, he was an immediate standout. Uh, just because I like Pokemon with more like cool designs and his move pool in the games was pretty good too. I think he learns uh, all three elemental punches. Yeah, it is absolutely wild to think that uh, the sword and shield era is coming to an end. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> it feels like just yesterday that the games were coming out and everybody was talking about them. You know their their adventures in the Gala region, and I, I played through Shield myself. Those those games were great. Uh, still love the quality of life updates they had, like making Fly a menu option instead of an HM. No more HM slaves. <laughs> so um, yeah, definitely great games. All right, so we're gonna get into pack number four here. Let's see if we can go two for two with this tin or a little card trick here. And again, for those who are unaware, the card trick as uh, which it's referred to means taking four cards from the back of the pack and shuffling them to the front so that if you pull a hollow card, it's it's the last card in the pack. So it kind of helps like make it more of a surprise. So we have a reverse hollow Pokeball and an Oranguru. All right, last pack, you guys, can we end the Articuno tin with a absolutely beautiful piece. I'm gonna say either an art rare or a gla uh, Galarian gallery, excuse me. Uh, really hoping for an art rare. I absolutely love the artworks on those cards. They definitely rival um, the alternate art cards. So we'll see what we got here. We got Seal and all right, there we go. Got what I wanted. <laughs> So we got the Hisuian Voltorb. So he's just chilling there under the tree, taking a nap, very, very pretty card. And then we have a uh, bead with another uh, autograph on there. Okay, you guys, next up, we are cracking into the Galarian Zapdos tin. There is your online code card. There is yet another beautiful promo card with Galarian Zapdos. Kind of looks like he's uh, chasing after poor uh, Dodrio there. You got the other head over here. I almost thought it was Doe Duo. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we are gonna get cracking into these booster packs here. It's kind of funny, if you guys have taken notice, I don't open my packs 
Uh, okay, so these always kind of mess me up a little bit. So let's see if I do this right here. Okay, I don't really know if I did, but we're gonna go through the pack anyways. <laughs> um, I open my packs with scissors and it's, it's kind of funny because I get a lot of questions like, you know, when I'm opening the booster packs, how do I not cut the cards or am I afraid of cutting the cards? And I've just been doing it for so long that I don't worry anymore. Oh, okay, there we have the uh, Electivire uh, Art Rare card. So that goes kind of nicely with um, the Mag Mortar uh, Art Rare I pulled in the last video, if you guys want to go check that out. So uh, yeah, definitely a pretty piece. And then we have uh, Lyperd. If you guys are going to open your packs with scissors though, I do recommend practicing extreme caution because if you're not careful you definitely can cut the cards and uh thankfully knock on wood i have never had that issue yet <laughs> so we'll get started through this pack here so we have bisharp we have graveler riolu starly Let's see if we get something good out of here too to go with that uh last booster pack young goose got snorlax and we got Tangrowth. And as always, you guys, I absolutely appreciate everyone tuning into this video. And if you want to see more openings, whether it's booster booster packs, booster boxes, tins, or Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, what have you, um, I would absolutely recommend subscribing, liking the video, staying tuned in to uh, what I'm posting on here. Because again, you know, my big goal here is to bring you guys the best content that I uh, absolutely can on this content creator journey so i would absolutely recommend any feedback you guys could give me i know i sound like a broken record you guys but again it has to be stated that this booster set is absolutely fantastic probably the best way they could have sent out the sword and shield era because i just cannot believe the assortment of cards that you can pull in this set it is just absolutely off the wall you guys so wherever you are able to find this set i totally recommend picking it up just to add some really cool cards to your collection all right you guys can we get some last pack magic for this galarian zapdos tin we are going to find out right now let's uh let's all hope for another alternate art that would definitely be a great way to close out this box before moving on to the Moltres tin. So we have Skrelp with the funky artwork. We got Yen Mega and oh okay that's it. <laughs> you guys so we're moving on to the last tin here. Here we have the code card and here we have arguably the best promo of the set this Galarian Moltres card. Uh, I actually pulled this in V-Star Universe and definitely think that version looks better because of the silver borders again but I mean this is still an absolutely fantastic artwork you guys. All right and then we are going to get cracking into our first pack here. So we'll show off the code card, do our little card trick. Remember that it is four of them to the front. So we have Salazzle, we have Dusclops, Larvesta, Shinx, Whalmer, Galarian, Meowth. We got Ball Toy, Reverse Hollow Entei, cool artwork, and Snorlax. All right, so we're gonna get into booster pack number two. So it seems like we are doing fairly decent with this opening you guys we're getting some uh fairly good pulls so we'll see if we can keep up the momentum uh i would be happy with at least mm, one more alternate art card or even i think there's um yes there's a couple of charizards uh in this set to pull i think there are two or three i'm not 100 percent sure again you guys no matter no matter what way you slice it you know, cracking into these packs is always a fun time because, as I said before, you know, Pokemon is only stepping up their game, you know, bringing us collectors and enthusiasts, you know, what we really want to see. And that's the fantastic artworks. Really, they, they really have been just going crazy with them lately. And, you know, I'm only excited to see what the future of the game is going to hold. So we have the uh, B-Barrel Art Rare, which... Um, Again, I believe, no, it's the Galarian Gallery cards that make up like a whole kind of portrait kind of thing. So these just kind of stand on their own. And then we have a Leafeon V, okay. So we have 
two booster packs left. So we will see what we can pull out of here. As I said, so far, pretty good opening, but you know, I'm just having fun even opening this stuff up because you know, it's it's nice that Pokemon product has become easier to find. You know, I, I know there was all the hype, um, you know, not too long ago in the past year or so. So it's, it's kind of been nice that it's all um, calmed down. And, you know, if you go to, you know, your local card shop, if you go to GameStop, Target, um, there usually is a pretty plentiful supply. So you really shouldn't have that hard of a time of finding anything. All right, so let's see if I can get this right again. So we have our little uh, V-Star card. We have Crocorock, Luxio, Friends in Hisui, uh, Baltoy, we got Tangela, Rockruff, Snowrunt, we got Pancham, Reverse Hollow, Dub Wool, and Lycanroc. All right, you guys, so there you have it. As I said, I definitely recommend picking up any Crown Zenith you can find at retail, especially those tins. The set has been absolutely fantastic. I love opening the packs and seeing all the crazy pulls you could potentially get. And just because I really haven't had enough of the set yet, next video, we're gonna play our little game of which box has the better pulls. Will it be the Reggie Drago V box or the Pikachu Special Collection box again. Stay tuned to find out, you guys. Thank you again and take care.